Denise Welch revealed she was forced to, to cancel her appearance at the Diva Awards after she suffered a bout of vertigo. Denise Welch sparked concerns for her health on Saturday as she revealed she had been suffering from vertigo. The Loose Women panelist, 63, subsequently had to pull out of the Diva Awards, which marks the accomplishments of LGBTQI women and non-binary people. She took to Instagram to explain the reason behind her absence from the event. Which she branded her favorite event of the year. Denise admitted she was so sad that her health issue prevented her from attending the event. In view of her 362,000 followers, Denise posted a picture of her former Coronation Street co stars Saran Jones and Sally Lindsay. She captioned the snap, So sad to miss my favorite event of the year at DIVA Magazine Diva Awards, but I was felled by a bout of vertigo. Congratulations to our wonderful friend and head lesbian of the world at Diversity Riley and to all the winners. Denise concluded, missed seeing you at Saran underscore Jones, at Sally Lindsay 73 hash Diva Awards. The TV star had recently opened up on her ordeal with a stalker who was jailed last month, jailed for seven years and seven months. In one terrifying incident, Denise awoke to huge, sprawling flames after her stalker set her house on fire back in 2020. She was alarmed by her husband's screams as flames engulfed the area outside of her house. Stalker Tarak Wingard started the fire after Denise and husband Lincoln Townley went to sleep at around 10 p.m. The couple had left son Louis and her brother-in-law Duncan downstairs watching movies. Denise recalled, suddenly, I heard Lincoln screaming. I ran downstairs in my pajamas and saw huge sprawling flames outside the house. However, one neighbor had spotted the blaze as she was driving past and knocked on the door to alert the actress and her family. Lincoln started to move the car away from the driveway, helping avoid a tragedy. Within seconds of him moving it, flames started spreading rapidly. They would have caught my car and the whole thing would have gone up and exploded, Denise explained. Tarak's home was searched by officers who found binoculars and covert camera equipment. He admitted to charges of criminal damage, arson, knife possession, stalking, and causing serious alarm or distress between September 18, 2020 and February 1, 2021. He later argued that he had been pressured into confessing to a crime he had not committed. This claim was rejected, while his lawyer Louise Cowan said he had been suffering from bipolar disorder and had been off his medication at the time of the crimes. 